a very big shout out to Heath Carmody for his re channel down below. He's in the bed. Oh, this looks like. Wait a minute. Could that be. Is that. Is that a black swan? I don't know. I can't tell. There's some stupid bird in the way. Let me just get the camera up a bit higher here. There we go. That's better. So, what are the requirements for a black swan observation? If it's simply seeing the horizon pass where it should appear on a geometric globe with no refraction, then most of my observations have been black swan observations. Pretty much any observation where there was no inferior mirage, I was able to see the horizon far past where it should have been visible on a geometric globe. And I know I released a video recently claiming that all swans are gray, implying that they need to be properly analyzed if we're going to actually determine anything from them. But in any case, I'm going to be releasing some of my better black swan observations for the flat earth community to use for whatever purpose they see fit. Starting with this one, which I think is a nice, clear, simple example of a black swan horizon appearing farther than a point of land at 12 kilometers from a viewer height of only one foot or less. Alright, so here is my observer location. I was on this little beach here, right at the water, and looking straight across uh, past that little waterfall thing, which is about here, and then this point of land that sticks out is pretty much exactly 12 kilometers to this point. And then looking past that, there's water extending for about another 10 kilometers to this other shoreline, which I will show in the next video that we're actually seeing the base of this whole shoreline here. Um, but for now, I'm happy with just saying that that horizon is somewhere past the 12K point up to this 22 kilometer point here. One bar. See this little log here. I'm just going to zoom in right past this uh, structure in the water here. Keeping the camera as level as I can. the 12 kilometer point of land and the water extending clearly far past that. And I've been working on a new tool, which is almost done. I'm going to be debuting it very soon. And it's just a simple tool for sort of categorizing or rating these black swan observations as far as how much more of the horizon we're seeing versus um, where that horizon should be on a physical geometric globe. So if we're looking at, in this observation, we're looking at 12 kilometers minimum. Let's just say that horizon was right at 12 kilometers. So we're looking at 12 kilometers versus a two kilometer predicted geometric horizon on a globe. So we could make that a ratio or a percentage and rate other black swans accordingly. Anyway, I uh, look forward to that coming soon and many more black swan observations from me and I will be analyzing some other people's black swan observations as well. Alright, thanks for watching.